I'm Rob Alcock from Gibbs Delta Tackle. We're out here uh, winter spring fishing today with Island Outfitters. We'll talk a little bit about the gear that we're using. Uh, the winter spring fishery here is, is a troll fishery with uh, flashers and spoons. So the reason we run the flashers is they are an attractor. Uh, they're the first thing off your line. They, they do a large swooping circle. Uh, both sides of the flasher have a highly reflective. One is a glow side, one's reflective. And when a fish is down under the water, it, it'll see this reflection, which emulates a school of fish or a school of uh, bait fish. And that's where it'll attract it over towards the flasher. And then behind the flasher, of course, we have our spoon or bait that uh, is made to imitate a, a wounded fish. And like all species, uh, they're trained to go after the easiest prey first. So they'll look for that wounded fish or the trailing fish behind the school. So the flasher will attract the salmon over towards your bait. Uh, it generally will drop back and find that wounded fish, which is your spoon. Today we're running a lemon lime uh, flasher on a UV body with a coho killer behind one side. And on the other side, we're running a Maddy flasher with a G4 spoon. Um, both of these flashers, the advantage for us is that we've gone to the moon jelly tape. It's a highly reflective tape works good at all depths, absorbs the UV light down to depths of 300 feet. So on all the flashers we have a double bell bearing swivel. Uh, with the amount of action and the, and the amount they turn, if you don't have a good swivel on there, the thing will, will spin on its own and it will twist up your line. So it's really important you have two ball bearing swivels. Uh, after that we'll run a bead chain swivel just for the extra uh, caution to make sure we don't tangle up. So a bee chain swivel down to around 48 inches a liter for the winter fishery. If you're in a summer fishery fishing for larger Chinook, sometimes we'll stretch that leader out to five or six feet, but, uh, and running a bait like an anchovy. But on spoons, we'll keep it down around 48 inches, uh, straight, straight on to the spoon, nothing else needed other than that. Tie your leader straight to the ball bearing swivel and straight on to the spoon. So the Coho Killer uh, Silver Horde product has been uh, really gained some momentum over the last couple of years. It's a very thin, light little fish, uh, emulates more of a needle fish than a herring. Uh, and don't let the name fool you, the Coho Killer has caught uh, lots of big Chinook salmon as well. Uh, and and has, has turned into a spoon that's more popular for, for Chinook than it is for Coho. Uh, a light spoon, lots of fluttering action, it moves a ton, doesn't necessarily have a rolling action like lots of spoons. It tends to dart, spin, go down, come up, uh, and an aggressive fish will like that. They'll think this is a little bait fish trying to run away from it, scared for its life. All right, we'll give you a quick tutorial on how we put this down. Dan's going to let, uh, let our side down here. So the first thing you're going to do is just start letting your line out. Make sure your flasher is not tangled up, your, your line behind it is not tangled. He's going to let about 25, 30 feet of line out there. And uh, grab his Scotty downrigger clip. Bury your main line into that. That'll release from the downrigger once a fish grabs that lure. Now he'll just start dropping it down. Right now we're in about 85 feet of water, but because of the current, you'll see a large angle on our line and our downrigger. So we're letting the downrigger out about 100 feet to allow for that uh, difference in the angle of the line. Now it's all rigged up. Once a fish hits that, it'll pull the line out of that Scotty downrigger and it'll just be you and the fish. Go have some fun. <laughs> 